Alright guys, this is the Philips Folio M2L 27 and these on-air hi-fi headphones are one of the first pair of headphones that ditches the 3.5mm headphone jack for the Apple Lightning cable. Now with the next iPhone rumored to remove the 35 headphone jack, I only think it's fair to see what these headphones have to offer. Alright, so let's start off with the look and feel of these headphones. Now these ear cups, they actually are made of a leather. Now under the leather there is a memory phone that can really quickly adjust to the uh, shape of your ears. Now the headphones are mainly made out of aluminum. Now the overall weight of these headphones are fairly light and this black cord right here is pretty durable and it has a black thick rubber around it. Now the Philips headphones also look really professional and I think when you wear these guys that people are going to really take you seriously. Now these headphones are not water resistant so if you're looking for a pair of water resistant headphones check out my review of the LG Tone Ultras. Now as you might guess these headphones are adjustable to fit pretty much anyone's uh, head no matter what the shape is. Now also these ear cups do fold flat to offer easy storage. Now one of my favorite features of these headphones has to be the controls. Now the controls are on the right ear cup and it is designed to incorporate the play button, the pause button, the next and previous button right on the oversized button itself. Now if you see right here the button really offers really good feedback but it's really important that you press it right in the center to get that amazing feedback. Now also if you look here the volume controls are also chiseled right inside the button itself and the jog itself offers just about the right amount of forgiveness when you're adjusting the volume. Now before I get into the sound, I think it's really important that I talk to you guys about the streaming service that I use when I'm listening to these headphones. Now Tidal is not my primary streaming service, but Tidal does offer a hi-fi music streaming at about 1.4 megabit per second at about uh, $20 a month. Now when you pair hi-fi headphones with uh, hi-fi music, you get a slightly better sound compared to my uh, primary streaming service which is Apple Music which streams at 256 kilobits per second for about $10 a month. Now moving on to sound quality, now my choice of music is either hip hop, R&B, or pop. Now using either Apple Music or Tidal, I feel like the music is well balanced. I feel like the bass is spot on but not overwhelming. I also feel like the music I get from these headphones as being multi-dimensional. You know, I hear each sound and vocal, and I feel like it's on its own layer. I feel like these headphones really have the per perfect separation when listening to music. Now, just yesterday, I was listening to the X Factor from the album, The Miseducation of Ron Hill, and I felt like I was in a booth as she sang that amazing song. Now, the hardware that produces that amazing sound I was just talking about is the built-in digital audio converter, as well as the 40 millimeter drivers. It's really important to note that these headphones leak a good amount of music that those around you can hear depending on how high you have the volume cranked up. In contrast, the M2L27 offers great passive noise cancellation to block out any background noises. Now the noise cancellation is so good, I thought they offered active noise cancellation like the pair of Quiet Comfort 3s I once owned. Other shortcomings of these headphones includes no inline microphone for phone calls and obviously no charging your iOS devices while using these headphones, but none of these are deal breakers in my book. Alright, so the Philips Folios M2L27, they retail for about 300 bucks, but I've seen them on Amazon for about half that price uh, for an open box pair. So if you're going to pick a pair of these headphones up, feel free to tweet me a picture or add me on Instagram so I can see you guys jamming out. Other than that, if you guys like the video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to New Jersey Cat, feel free to subscribe.